Attack on Mika. All right, looking good. I'm Ichi. I own a little bakery in my hometown. I'm 28. My dad started this place many years ago, but he passed away a few years ago due to an illness. Dad loved to bake bread. Everyone loved this place. Growing up, I always wanted to be a baker just like my dad. I loved my job. But the thing is, <laughs> I wasn't very good at this. Business wasn't good. Ah, so many leftovers. It's not that bad, is it? I came up with new recipes every day, but it wasn't working. I always got leftovers at the end of the day. And this one time, one of my regulars said to me, I still come here because it's close to my house, but... Honestly, your dad was much better at this. And your new recipes? They're terrible. You gotta step it up. Ugh. This place meant a lot to my family. I didn't want to close shop, but sales was going down. Something had to change. Ugh, maybe this isn't for me. Then one day, this girl came into my store. Uh, welcome! Uh, what the? Is she okay? Um, do you have any leftover bread? Huh? I'll take anything, please. Uh... But sure, I guess. I was gonna throw them out anyways. Uh, thank you. The girl said to me with a big smile on her face. The next day, she came back. I handed her a bag full of leftover bread, but then... Um, do you have more? It's for my mom. Oh, the family must be really poor or something. Uh, sure, you want some for your dad too? No. Oh, so no father, I see. All right, then here. Huh? Here, take some of these, too. I was gonna throw them out anyway, so... Go on, eat up! Oh, thank you! So good! <laughs> this is so delicious! I've never had anything like this before! Are you sure these are leftovers? They're delicious! I know, right? I know what I'm doing wrong. We became good friends after that. Her name was Mika. She started opening up to me. She came to the bakery almost every day. But the business wasn't doing so well. I had to think of something fast. A few days later, I came up with the best recipe of all time. This is delicious! Yummy! So good! I had a really good feeling about this one. Mika, try it! Thank you! Yeah? All right! Okay, then. Once my customers try this, I'll be back in business! Time to get to work! But then the next day, something happened. Mika. She didn't show up that day. I had no idea why. What happened? I hope she's okay. Maybe she was lying about liking my bread. Maybe she was just trying to be nice to me. I'm pathetic. I should quit. Uh, I better throw these out. Then a few years went by. I can't go on. I tried my best to keep the business afloat, but nothing was working. I didn't want to give up, but I had no choice. I had to close shop. Then on my last day... Aw, you're closing shop, right? That's a shame. Now I'm going to have to go all the way to the city to get bread. Uh, I did my best. It's over. Welcome. <laughs> huh? Hi. Can I get some leftovers? Huh? Uh, leftovers? Yeah. Uh, okay, sure. Hold on, okay? Poor girl. Her family must be really poor. I'm willing to pay. And not just for today's. I'm here to pay you back. Huh? Pay me back? Yep. Here you go. Thanks for everything, Ichi. Huh? Ichi, remember me? He really helped me out. Huh, wait, are you? I didn't recognize her at first. It was Mika. She was living with her wealthy grandfather now. She lost her father to a car accident many years ago. Her mother raised her single-handedly. But a few years ago, her grandfather offered to help, and now they're much better off. 
Before that, she was always hungry. That's why she came to my bakery almost every day. But then she had to move, and that's why she stopped coming here all of a sudden. Then she told her grandfather about me, and she came back to thank me. I had no idea. Sorry it took so long for me to come back. It's so good to see you again. Mika, thank you, but I can't take your money. All I did was give you leftovers. I can't take this. No. You saved me. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. <laughs> thank you. The words really got to me. And I heard you were closing shop. Look, just take it, okay? You deserve this. My mom and grandpa, they're really grateful too. Mika. This is unbelievable. What a great story. I gotta tell everyone. But this is a lot of money. How will I ever pay you back? And even if I try to rebuild the business with this money, I might not succeed. No worries. This place will be full of customers in no time. You'll see. Huh? A few months later. Excuse me, you got any Shingeki bread left? I want some too. Ah, uh, coming right up! Mika was right, I was back in business. She uploaded a story about my bakery on her socials. She had a lot of followers online and they all came to my bakery. And that special recipe I came up with years ago, it started selling like crazy. The customers loved it. People from out of state were coming to buy it. So good! This is amazing! I better get some for me family! <laughs> wow, this is unbelievable! Ichi, hey! Mika, hey! Thank you so much for this! You saved this place! I'll pay you back as soon as I can, okay? No need! And this was all you! Don't worry about paying me back! Just don't close shop, okay? That's all I care about! Mika, thank you so much. Oh, I remember this one. <laughs> yeah, I brought back some of the classics, but this one, I don't know. I don't think it's very good. <laughs> Listen up, everyone. Huh? I've been coming to this place for years. I knew this place would be famous someday. Oh, is that so? Yeah. You guys ever try this one? This takes me back. Oh. How is it? Oh, uh, it's unique. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.